Cool. Right. Let us go. This crash site's a nightmare. Edie, try to raise Lieutenant Victus. Yes, sir. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian coat is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the Wonder what would be said here if we didn't bring Garrus. Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Edie, did you raise Lieutenant Victus? Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th platoon. We're pinned by Reaper harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than Javik didn't say anything. I wonder if Liara would have said anything if we brought her. What do we think of Javik's black outfit? I mean, it's very color coordinated with Gareth's Gareth's black outfit, so it's got that going for it. But I do think the red just suits him better, especially with his like kind of green face. It's like it's like aquamarine or like turquoise at the bottom, and then it goes up to black at the top. But I feel like the red of the outfit, like just works really well with that color. What have we got here? SMG magazine upgrade. Don't mind if I do. The mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. I feel like Liara would have more interesting things to say than just it doesn't matter. Silly Shepard. We didn't need to get the dude to fire a flare up. We should have just followed the linear path. We'd have found him in no time. Shepard always forgets that there's always a linear path to follow. Silence. There's no getting Please lost. Ahead. Quick, we don't want them to call for backup. You got it. They actually do got it. I uh, forgot to turn on my thingy. Uh, yeah, cool. Vibrating intensifies. Spare parts, very nice. Escape pod. Whoa. Our first casualties. Survived the crash, but then a harvester took out the pod. Died in the explosion, or dragged out and eaten by husks. Love to hear it. Uh, M9 Tempest. New submachine gun looks like. We can equip that some other time, probably. Or not at all, because I don't use submachine guns, actually. That was Mass Effect 2. I forgot. Okay. I have a visual on the enemy, and there's an escape pod just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go. Alrighty. Yes, Commander. Enjoy your explosion, bitch. Hi. Yes, Commander. What? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. The harvester has compromised the third and fourth. That was sick! So harvesters are the reaperized, reaperified versions of the flying creatures that we saw on a couple of missions in Mass Effect 2. Uh, one on Grunt's loyalty mission and one on a side mission. 
but we never got to fight them. They always were like just dropping off other enemies and then flying away. And that's a reaperized, reaperified version of that that we can actually fight. Awesome. That looks sick. And the fucking death explosion. Holy fuck. That was great. Love me a good death explosion. Okay. Didn't miss anything around here while I was just charging through. Nope. Okay. Oh man, that was so cool. Sniper rifle, spare ammo, sure thing. Man, there's a fucking lot of mods we found in this game. Keep moving. Boop. We need to find the main crash site ASAP. Being the we will. Invictus is a lot to live up to. It's a big military name on Palavin. War is expected to run in the Victus blood. War was a way of life for my people as well. If you couldn't fight the Reapers, you were left behind. That is a good, interesting tidbit. It's for more spare parts. 6,000 credits on that one. That's nice. Where's Garrus gone? Javik's with us, but Garrus has vanished. Did we leave him behind somehow? Hopefully he just teleports to catch up. What the fuck is this? Faston? New weapon unlocked Faston. What is it? Could be anything. I don't know. Uh, is it an assault rifle? It is an assault rifle. High fire rate, low damage. Not as low damage as the particle rifle, but not as high fire rate either. Well, I'm going to go ahead and not... Wait, no, 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 I'm keeping that empty. What am I doing? There we go. I just wanted to get rid of the new. There we go. Incendiary, armor piercing. SMG ultralight materials. Nice ladder usage. F. It's an F for that guy. All right, should we get in there, lads? Should we go save these fools? Follow my lead. I will comply. Surprise! Oh boy, another one. Hello! Oh my goodness, it's so fucking cool. Okay. Man, I love those harvesters. They I look think so we good. All those men. Over here. I'm man, is Javik's black outfit starting to grow on me? I think it's just because it's with Garrus's black outfit and they look so fucking unified that it looks good. But I think with anyone else, the red would look better. We just dropping in, dropping on down. Do you read, Commander? Repeat. Do you read? Shepard here. What's your status? We're in deep. Commander, what's your ETA? Hang tight. We're on our way. Plop. <clears throat> Flight recorder. Velocity. Deceleration online. We'll survive. Victus is going to pay for this. Court martial are hanging. How will the commander leave this down? When we find him, we'll ask. Hmm.
Shotgun smart choke. Love to be smart choked. What the fuck's that over there? It's the London Eye. Surprise! Tachanka's actually future England. Just England, not the Earth. <laughs> Just England. literally just looting the corpses of the people we were here to save. This is fine. Shepard here. Just saw harvesters drop a lot of enemies in your path. Understood. Hello. Hi! Oh, you look so cool. Oh, it looks so cool. Anything around here I missed? No. Nope. Jesus. Welp, he got out of cover. I didn't click to get him out of cover, but he got out of cover. That's good. That's fantastic. I love that that causes a combo. That is so sick. Okay, take two. Stop getting out of cover, you fucking idiot. On barrier. There we go. Confirm. Anything to find around here? Damn, nice shot. Okay. Bitch. Let's pick it up. It's important we don't lose this squad. To hold the Krogan back seems unproductive. All available forces should be mobilized against the Reapers. Krogan Turian animosity is ancient and intense. It's inborn. And no I such thing as together, inborn so animosity. Let's not complicate things. Fucking, you don't... <laughs> you get born knowing fuck all. Being taught to hate another fucking race is something that happens as you grow up from shitty parents and teachers and all that. You don't... You're not born going, wow, fuck this species in particular. What is this? Sniper rifle extended barrel. This right. is a big Let's fight area. Blood with for yes, On the Holy fuck, that's so many people. Holy fuck. I don't I wanna charge in, but I also really don't want to charge in. You know? Oh, that's a that's a big boy. Woo, that's a scary big boy. Oh, 
Harvester? Where? Over there. Okay. I'm safe here then. This is about to go badly for us. This is about to go really badly. I feel like I'm kind of trapped. Yep, there was nothing I could do there, really. There was nowhere for me to dash to that was also near cover. Like, the only places for me to dash to were where the enemy were. You got it! Far fucking corner. Okay, they're fucking dead, or one of them is. Really feels like there's nothing I can do. You poke your head up for half a second and you get absolutely fucked. That was so hard. That was brutally difficult. The fuck is this? Reaper Blackstar? Fuck! No, that's the cane! Motherfucker, if I'd seen that, that would have made it about a million times easier. God fucking damn it. Piece of shit. Lieutenant Victus? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Damn straight. Thank you for saving us. Now what the so fuck man. are you doing here? What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. <laughs> Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. I mean... Sounds like it... 
doesn't even sound like it was a bad call. Like, you just said that if you went the original route, then that was guaranteed death for a lot of people anyway. So, either way, you got guaranteed death, but, you know. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're what is the mission? Your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse What? A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, what? if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they've faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We Fuck are that, dude. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates sure. Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. Yeah, what that's the bomb in the heavily populated area. Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. Krogan Turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't Cerberus has fucking infinite troops somehow now, so Keep who knows? Hack it out. Uh, isn't Rex standing Primark like right over there? Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that. Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son. So he's still not going to tell us what's going on. Fucking tall. Journal updated to Chunka Bob. Okay. And funding. Do we get new war assets? We did. Alien Shadow Broker Wet Squad. <laughs> Big picture of Liara. She, uh... The, the Make Everyone Wet Squad. As the new Shadow, Shadow Broker, Liara Tassoni has the loyalty of her predecessor's ass assassination squad, a small but lethal team of soldiers called on for the rare occasion when information isn't enough to silence the target. Their methods vary with each mission, from subtle poisonings to bombing entire buildings. The Wet Squad is dedicated to whatever range of destruction the new broker requires. Dr. Tassoni has put them to work against the Reapers and Cerberus. Nice. I'm grateful for all you've done, Commander. The situation with the Krogan is already complicated enough. Not as complicated as waking up one day and being told you're the new Primarch. <laughs> yes, thank you. 
I'm beginning to understand why leaders so often seem lonely. Worst case scenarios aren't just theories. They're what you'll be dealing with five minutes from now. That's why it helps to have allies. Yes, you're right, of course. Is there something I can help you with? That's all. Of course, Commander. Motherfucker actually won't say anything. What was that all about with the Primarch? Turian's up to something? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Uh-huh. All right. That's it for I now. don't want to lie Let's to Rex. To Man. Anytime. That feels bad. Rex is smart enough to be told that we were doing a mission on Tuchanka for the Turians without losing his ship. Besides, we talked with Moreau. Collectors invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. Commander, whatever you did on Tuchanka has the Turians sending a lot of messages. What are they saying? Sorry, it's encrypted. Cracking it would take at least a week, and it would be wrong. Wrong? Commander. Would it? Would it be wrong? No flashing light, so no messages, I think. I don't know about that one. I do not know about that one. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, dates back to the Rachni Wars. So, a Krogan and a Solarian have landed on a Rachni world for a top secret mission. That is unlikely. Solarians rarely took part in raids on Rachni occupied worlds directly. <sighs> Missing the point. So, the two guys are climbing up a hill going through this nasty green fog. And as they get near the top, they come out of the fog and the Solarian sees thousands of Rachni. He looks over at the Krogan and says, Oh, well, that makes me nervous! The Krogan says, you think that's scary? When this is over, I have to go back down through that fog by myself. The implication <laughs> being that the Solarian soldier would be dead. Yes. yes. Well done. Thank you for killing the 2,000-year-old joke. That joke <laughs> goes to racial stereotypes on both sides. The Krogan appears brutish and insensitive, while the Solarian appears weak. Stereotypes Shit. such as exemplified here led to the development and use of the genophage. Well, Shit, I laughed at the joke. Yeah. I'm it's part of the problem! Jokes you'll hear both Solarians and Krogan telling. Comedy isn't really about being nice. Sometimes it's a way to air out the ugly things people think. So that went well. Glad to see that Turians can flip out and lose their shit just like the rest of us. <laughs> They're under a lot of pressure. You stole the Normandy, got blown up by the Collectors, and sent us on a suicide mission at the Galactic Core. And I haven't mutinied once. Not <laughs> once. <laughs> Commander. I am impressed by your continued existence, Shepard. The probability Thanks, of surviving Edie. as long as you have is low. Hello, Shepard. I'm the best. Also, being controlled by the greatest gamer ever to have lived, you know, so probability of surviving actually very high. I need to stop doing this. I need to stop feeding the fish because I don't need to. But it's only a few seconds and I'm just paranoid, so whatever. Commander. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh! Liara and Garrus are both in here? Enough about me. What were you doing before we met up here? Oh, you know, this and that. Come on, spill it to Sony. Very well. I fought several explosive battles with Cerberus. I helped Shepard stop a robotic assassin on Mars. Oh, and I discovered plans for a Prothean doomsday device that were buried for 50,000 years. <laughs> yeah, so just this and that, huh? Hello, Shepard. Hello, Bay. Turians on a secret mission to Tuchanka, huh? No one told me anything about it. I'm curious to see how this bomb on Tuchanka plays out. I don't suppose ignoring it is an option. No, probably Later. not. Hello, Shepard. I want to just 
pull up a chair and sit down and chat with these guys. I just want to hang out, you know? So, they're great. Archangel. You heard about that, huh? Your sojourn on Omega generated quite a few articles, not to mention security footage. There's one thing I couldn't dig up, though. Did you really take out three Blue Suns mercenaries with one bullet? No, of course not. The third guy had a heart attack. Not fair to count him. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. Later. Any more? Seems like that was it. Uh, so just check the terminal in here because Liara won't be here because Liara was over there. Nothing new on the terminal. There won't be anything new here. Nope. No point in checking down the far end here, right? Because Garrus won't be there either. Anyone in two? No. Four is Mordin and Eve. I'm not going to bother going through that because they won't have anything else to say. Not until we do the, uh, the, what was it called? The Spire? The Shroud mission? Was it Shroud? They'll have stuff to say after that, but until then, it seems like that's it for them. You should not have let the Turian soldier evade his responsibility. I take it Protheans didn't forgive many mistakes? If he had been under my command, I would have marooned him in the desert, buried them in sand up to his neck, and let their wildlife feast on his eyes. If he survived that, I would have rewarded him by shooting him in the head. Good soldiers are a precious resource. The stupidity of one cannot be allowed to jeopardize the lives of the others. Okay. The are hiding something, Commander. Be careful. Tuchonka was not always a wasteland. It once had jungles and forests. The Krogan didn't need the Reapers to destroy their world. They did it on their own. Such a foolish race. <laughs> I am with my own thoughts. I am with my own thoughts. Such a foolish race. <laughs> so I hear the elusive man drinks bourbon. It all makes sense now. What do you mean? You love whiskey. Hey, Scotch, my dear girl. That scunner drinks American bourbon. Completely different. He's a psychotic megalomaniac. You've got problems with his choice of liquor? You've obviously never experienced the peat aroma of a fine Eli Scotch. Hmm? Hmm? You know what? I've never experienced that. I should experience that at some Commander. point. Power grid is in the green. Have you found that thermal pipe yet? There's sure haven't. A on the Citadel that carries thermal pipe. Dire news from Earth. Off the radar, reaping begins in rural areas. Millions are dead in the Central Asian wilderness, even more in Sub-Saharan Africa. We'll give you the gruesome view of what happens when the Reapers don't stop to indoctrinate. Now, in the battle space. Commander. And last but not least. Good to see you, Commander. Parts of Tachunka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. The sand and everything, yeah. Primark's son is in over his head, no? Seems like it. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? It does, I'm, I mean, we haven't asked, we haven't had the option to ask, like, why his son has been promoted to that position, but... It seems like it's because just of who his dad is, right? Because the other men didn't even really seem to respect him, so it wasn't as if he'd been promoted based on merit and one bad call was like his first bad call. It seemed like they were willing to jump at his throat, so he probably hadn't ever held a position like that before. Is what it seemed like. Right, uh, let's do a very quick little codex catch-up. Tachanka, the Krogan homeworld boasts extreme temperatures, virulent diseases, and predatory fauna. Oh hey, that's Around where that's that picture is where Grunt's e, the loyalty mission took place. Weapons and promptly sent their planet into a nuclear winter. The majority of the population retreated to underground bunkers, 
and Krogan culture slipped into a dark age, dominated by tribal clans. In 80 CE, decades into the Rachni Wars, the Salarian Union made first contact with the primitive Krogan and initiated a cultural uplift to shape them into a modern army capable of confronting the Rachni. During this uplift, the Salarians constructed the Shroud facility on Tachunka to shield the planet from harmful forms of solar radiation. Later, during the Krogan rebellions, reproductive rates were curtailed by the genophage, ensuring the Krogan remained a species in decline and Tachunka a desolate wasteland. Fuck the genophage. It may be it may be possible to reverse the genophage by extracting an immunity from the genetic data of a cured Krogan female. A Solarian geneticist named Malin, a former student of Dr. Morden Solis, discovered the cure through unethical experimentation on live subjects. The complexity and durability of the genophage derives from biochemical countermeasures that the Solarians wove into the plague in an attempt to make the sterilization incurable. No one is certain of how Malin circumvented the countermeasures, but his work was complete enough to allow replication of his results. In its original form, the cure restored fertility but severely compromised the immune system. This resulted in slow, painful death for all but one of Malin's test subjects. If the beneficial aspects of the cure can be isolated, a specially tailored virus could repair the affected genes in other Krogan. And the Reapers, what the have we got that's new here? Harvester. Harvester in flight nearby is one of the first indications that a Reaper invasion is underway. Their the massive, massive Reaper ships is the to second cover the distance one. <laughs> between them and their prey. In the Harvester's mouth are two heavy guns that fire in an alternating pattern. The Harvester's most fearsome quality, however, is that its appearance guarantees that Reaper ground troops are not far behind. Also... Ravagers uh, the are Ravager. former Rachni that the Reapers have transformed into heavy artillery through a process of implantation and genetic modification. As walking organic turrets, they can sustain and inflict considerable damage. Ravagers bear egg sacs that continuously spawn swarmers. If the sacs are destroyed either during combat or upon the Ravager's death, their entire contents burst forth to charge the enemy and explode on contact. I've not noticed that, huh? expels a caustic gas and an acidic puddle. Alliance scientists have theorized that it is easiest for the Reapers to maintain control over units of Rachni genetic extraction because of the species' neurological predisposition for hive mind consensus. Hmm. That's all of the main ones. And then in the secondary ones, a planet we've got Benning. Benning was once a thriving human colony, but the Reapers have rounded up a large portion of the populace for processing. Some pockets of civilian resistance still elude the Reapers, however, and rescue attempts are underway. A resistance radio established during the early days of the attack continues to broadcast, exhorting survivors to band together and discussing rumours of safe havens. Unfortunately, those rumours have begun to result in ambushes, increasing the desperation of those who remain free. Through all of this, Benning's automated agricultural systems have continued to operate, leading to unprecedented stores of food in the planet's granaries and warehouses. And technology, the Shroud, hello. What the Krogan call the Shroud is a technological remnant of the Solarian uplift. After Tuchunka's nuclear war released tons of smoke and dust into the atmosphere, the planet temporarily cooled from global dimming, except, except at the poles, where the albedo was lowered by soot. As clouds trapped the resulting heat, enormous swathes of permafrost melted, releasing methane captured in clathrates from pre previous millennia. This potent greenhouse gas created a runaway heat cycle that was called the Nuclear Summer. Huh. That's an interesting, like, just change of terminology, because, like, obviously everyone's heard of nuclear winters, but I've never heard of the term a nuclear summer before. It's an interesting thought. Without intervention, Tuchanka would have sunk into a slow but certain mass extinction. The Solarian solution was to assemble the Shroud, a permanent sun shield of trillions of tiny diffractory, diffractory lenses placed at the L1 Lagrange point, the point in space where the lens's naturally stable orbit would shade the planet. The Solarians settled on a delivery method that became known as the Shroud Towers. The towers were essentially enormous coil guns that could fire a payload of lenses into space, along with the equipment necessary to monitor the payload's tra trajectories. 
Many Krogan warlords enthusiastically approved of the plan, some because they believed in saving their homeworld, but most because they saw future military applications for the Shroud Towers. The Shroud was completed on schedule over the next few decades, by which time the Rachni held the warlords full attention. The Krogan rebellions were not kind to the Shroud Towers. All but one was destroyed during the push for Krogan demilitarization. The remaining tower, often referred to as the Shroud, even though that is technically incorrect, was, repa was repurposed for cloud seeding and atmospheric repair. It remains on the landscape as an anachronism, a symbol of the time when Krogan and Salarians helped themselves by aiding one another. It didn't mention the fact that the Salarians used it to spread the genophage. Huh. That's a weird thing to leave out, Alliance, in your codex. Seems like a pretty large part of its history. Salarians built it to help them and then used it to fuck them. Uh, right, we got this new mission, Tuchanka Bomb. The Turian team that crashed on Tuchanka was trying to prevent Cerberus from detonating a bomb that would cause massive casualties on the planet. Land on Tuchanka and help the Turian platoon stop Cerberus. Okay, that's interesting. It's like a direct continuation of the previous side mission, which I don't think we've happen has happened before with side missions in this game. I mean, we haven't done many, but they've all been like, just go do the thing and then you're done with the thing kind of thing. So uh, we will do that next time. And uh, that is where we'll leave it for today. How long have we been going now? Almost 20 hours. An hour and a half away from 20 hours. I wonder how far through the game we are. Hopefully not too far. I feel like we're not too far. Because we've been doing... There's been just a ton of side stuff and a ton of Citadel stuff. But uh, there hasn't been a ton of main missions yet. So, yeah. I think hopefully we're not too far in. Because I'm having an absolute blast. I am loving this. Mass Effect 3 so far has been just the biggest treat. And Mass Effect 1 and 2 were already a huge treat. So, this is great. This is certainly fulfilling my expectations of a finale to a trilogy. And uh, I can't wait to see how things continue to change and evolve as we go. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect 3. Thanks for watching. See you then.